Greetings, YouTube. I don't get nervous when I record videos, usually. I've made thousands of them, literally. And, uh, you know, sometimes they're hits, sometimes they're misses, sometimes they're, they're success, sometimes they're, <laughs> shall we say, uh, learning experiences. But, um, you know, in general, I'm pretty, um, pretty used to this whole YouTube recording routine. But this is going to be a different kind of video. I don't know if anybody's going to watch it. But hey, if there's one person out there who wasn't doing this technique or wasn't doing this technique as much as maybe they should have or could have and they benefit from this video, then it's worth it. I always say when you don't have to use YouTube as your main source of income, you know, I'm not depending on views to feed myself or pay rent, then the views are like secondary to helping people. And so my hope for this is that it helps somebody. Because Lord knows, if you've been following my channel, the first couple years I played this game especially, I wasn't just bad at this game. I was like laughably pathetic. And that, that's not trying to make me, you know, lower my self-esteem. I just didn't know how to do anything. I didn't know how to parry. I didn't know what the mastery setup really should be. I didn't know how to intercept. I didn't know how to use dexterity to somehow like phase through specials. I remember the first time I ever saw somebody on YouTube dodge iron man special one which now is like the easiest thing in the world to do but back then i thought they were like hacking the game i had to like rewind the video and watch it three or four times and think they didn't they weren't affected by the beam how are they are they a magician have they discovered like a cheat code like i used to see in like mortal Kombat? what happened uh for the sake of today's video I want to point out that one of my best friends, and I might be the only person on YouTube that promotes this mastery, but it's what I need. Works for me. So there you go. Uh, see, willpower is still really beneficial to my gameplay. I need it to survive, especially with full suicides running every day. And because of that, you need a decent amount of points in defense before you can even unlock willpower. And so knowing that you have to have the points in defense somewhere on this tree and knowing that you get a max of two out of five points and stand your ground to increase your PI pretty well, uh, I love resisting a block break. This has saved me multiple times, especially if I am backed up against the wall. Now, some people say they never used it, and that's great for them. But for me, it's what I need for this strategy. What I'm going to do is talk to you about how I have been able to, especially this month, against the uncollected ghost and uh, more recently in the epic difficulty of the a cornucopia event, I've uh, been able to get pretty far without using potions or revives. Now, of course, part of this, obviously, is the roster I have and the champions that I have ranked up. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to go to my six-star uh roster in the form of the arena because I love the arena for all reasons and I'm flat out addicted to it right by the way I'm recording this in real time so you are going to hear the tapping of my screen as I fight the I have a very thick screen protector but um, let's just say that you're on that new BS node where if you stun the enemy uh they, you take 100% of the direct damage that you get. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold block. I'm going to hold block, and I'm just going to wait for Omega Red to do his heavy. I'm going to back out, and then I'm going to do a combo, and I'm going to end the fight. This is a strategy that I had to learn the hard way against Iron Man Infinity War when he came out, because especially in Alliance War back when I did it, it's like the only way that you could beat him. But, you know, this is, a, this is the normal parry strategy. But Blade, you know, you got to practice against people's heavies and you know that blade launches forward with his heavy attack so if i'm playing him on a stun immune i'm just going to go back and then counter and it's really really easy and so many bs nodes that the game puts out you just don't have to worry about because you hold block you wait for the heavy to activate you back up and then they're stuck and you can easily counter and i i truly believe that this simple mechanic is going to come into play a lot more, there's a regular parry, now that we have these new nodes that are discouraging what I started doing the first couple times, and that was 
pairing. Baited the heavy, countered with a five hit combo. We're gonna do that again. Assuming the lag doesn't kill us. Although the block break might have actually shown true for stand your ground if it did. See, I'm backed into a wall, but I was able to get out of it, counter with that same, and then fire off a special two. I use this every day for so many nodes, and I'm one of those people who gets real lazy and probably a little cocky, we should say. And I just don't read a lot of nodes. I'm just like, I don't, you know what, whatever you you have for me, I'm I'm gonna beat you. So I'm just gonna jump in, and that can get me in trouble when it comes to uh, unblockable finale or uh, you know something like that. But we're going to uh, go to our six star roster and let's go to let's go to Ronin, Guillotine, and Gamora. Sure. Let's just fire off this next trio. So all you do is hold block and wait for them to launch their heavy attack. That's literally it. It is, um, it's really kind of liberating once you get it down because it's so easy to do. So we're going to do that to be this fight. She has that high kick sort of heavy. And uh, so we're going to wait for her to do that again. Come on. There we go. Back out. And then done, right? I believe that the best way to consistently win at this game is to play defensively. Is to not intercept and take risks. And I... Uh, now this is going to be, of course, unique because the indestructible starts the fight. I respect people that can do what I just did consistently, which is intercept the opponent. But when you bait the heavy, it's just so much easier. And honestly, like, I just got so much better. I saved so many units, so many potions and revives just by holding block and not trying to be too aggressive at the beginning, especially, of the fight. Now, Medusa is also how I became good at this because of Hyperion. Now, I would, in that scenario, bait the heavy with the heavy to avoid the living strand stun issue. Oh, sorry, Medusa. You're dead. Also helps when you're fighting with Ronin and you have maxed out deep wounds. All right, we're going to do this one more time. I think three rounds of the arena is, is a good enough example of this. Again, I'm a little nervous putting this fight out because, yes, it's me doing gameplay, and some, some people like it, but, you know, it also is uh, a little nerve-wracking when, you know, people will comment and be like, wow, I think I'm better th at the game than you because you got wrecked by this opponent, and I never have. And I'm like, well, good for you. I like to think that uh, sometimes it really helps people to see somebody who has a public forum not play perfectly. All right, so we're going to start off by baiting the heavy and countering with the five hit attack. We're going to bait the heavy again. He's got the, uh, he's got that, that thing, but like whirl, I don't know what you call it, but it's just, it's such an easy way to, um, fight in the arena too. Just did it three times and he's gone. And I didn't do this for, for years. I didn't know I could really do it. I didn't try it. And maybe I thought I didn't need it. I thought I could just use parry. And for a while, there really wasn't much to actually discourage you from parry outside of, say, Labyrinth of Legends. But maybe this will also help in the Abyss. I don't know. Maybe some of you out there who are going to take that on are watching this, and it's just kind of a nice reminder to hold block. Storm's got the magic flying kick heavy. So we're just going to, you know, wait for that. Come on, Storm. There you go. Look at that. The nice thing about holding heavies is even if you're fighting the enemy on, a, like, a high difficulty, you, uh, we're going to end this, boom, just by doing that. The first time I learned how to dex the simple Storm Magic special one, it was, it was a revelation. <laughs> uh, again, I don't know if anybody's going to watch this. Maybe... Most of you out there already do this every day and you don't think anything of it. But if you don't, I can assure you with so many new BS nodes out there that this is going to save you um, so often. And if you put a couple points and stand your ground to give yourself more of a margin for error when you 
accidentally don't move back fast or unfortunately when the lag doesn't work for you and by the time you think you're supposed to dash back they're already activating their heavy into your block um it's gonna it's gonna be beneficial and i um you know i just hope this helps somebody out there because i got so much better at mcoc so much faster once i started doing this and i do this every day in all content on all epic difficulties i don't do alliance war anymore but i still do it in alliance quest I still do it, obviously, in the arena and just daily quests in general. Have a great day, YouTube. Thanks for watching this video and uh, seeing me hopefully show, you know, some decent fighting skills.